Hello, Dr. Zakir with you, Senior ENT Consultant and the topic is Rhinoscleroma. Rhino means related to the nose, scleroma means there is sclerosis, there are fibrous changes inside the nose, a commonly affected site. Now this condition, it is a chronic granulomatous condition, chronic means it is more than 3 months, it goes on for months to years together. It is granulomatous because from the blood there are specific cells which gets accumulated uh, in groups to form granuloma. This is seen only in microscopy, that is in pathology from the specimen which you have sent for uh, examination. So it is chronic granulomatous condition. It results because of a specific bacteria which comes under the bacilli group called Klebsiella scleromatis. So that is the definition for this condition. Now this is commonly seen in low, low socio-economic group and those where the overcrowding is very common and there is no specific cause why the person is getting infected with this is multifactorial. The most commonly affected site is nose and the nasopharynx and of course the face where there will be complete change of the face, typical appearance will be there. And the other other sites are it can affect the oral cavity, oropharynx, and the larynx on the ear too. Now, this condition it is stay it's seen in stages, starting from stage of cat, starting from cataral stage. In this stage, the the main uh, finding will be there will be thick mucoid discharge from nasal cavity. We we call it carpenter's glue. Very thick discharge. And if you can see the structure of the nose, the turbinates are all still normal. The next stage as the disease progresses, the next stage that is the stage of atrophy, all the structure, it, it, these are turbinates are destroyed. See the difference? The turbinate, all the turbinates are destroyed and the, and the sp whole space, uh, nasal cavity becomes roomy. And then since there is the destruction of the normal structures, the nose does not function normally. So what happens is all the dirt it gets accumulated in the nose and it results in crust formation. Going to the next stage, there is stage of granuloma, here there will be nodule formation. I have just drawn one, there will be multiple nodules everywhere in the nasal cavity. We are uh, discussing mainly about nasal, uh, nasal part, stage of granuloma. And the last one, stage of secretization where there will be fibrosis of the nasal cavity where the lateral wall it fuses with the other structures nearby even the medial wall. So then the whole nasal cavity becomes smaller in size and outside also the whole phase become changed. Now four stages we have seen. Now coming to the patient complaint, all the four stages you have nasal block which keeps on increasing. And the first stage specifically you have thick nasal discharge, thick mucoid discharge. They say that it comes out like that. And the second stage they have crust formation. Though the room, nasal cavity is roomy, all the structures are destroyed, the patient still complains of nasal block and there will be crust formation. And especially when they try to clean the nose, when they sneeze, this crust come out. It will be dark colored, it can be greenish yellow. Now coming to the third stage, the nasal block increases. And secretization it becomes worse and there will be nasal deformity and the external nasal deformity also. Now examination part, when you do a nasal endoscopy, the first part the, uh, that is the cataral stage, first stage, you have thick mucoid nasal discharge and it is very thick that is why it is mentioned as, it is termed as carpenter's glue. And the second stage finding will be stage of atrophy, the whole nasal cavity will be roomy and multiple crust will be seen everywhere. Now, the stage of granuloma, you have multiple uh, nodules everywhere and each nodule they will be rubbery, irregular in shape and reddish and it may bleed on touch. And usually it is start from the mucocutaneous junction, it will be seen everywhere. And these nodules can all join together to form a large lesion too. And stage of recursion, the, extern, the uh, extensive deformity of the external nose and the inside the nose too. Now coming to the spread of the disease, it is contagious, it can spread from one family member to the next family member. To come to a diagnosis, we need a biopsy and we can do a culture sensitivity also and we need a specific culture media for that. And we can do immunohistochemistry also, complement fixation test. The biopsy, it has to be taken in a particular stage, stage of granuloma. 
then only it will come positive. Here in the biopsy, what you see is in the stage of granuloma, uh, myculic cells will be seen like how we have uh, mentioned before, uh, myculic cells will be seen and myculic cells you have uh, bacteria, bacteria inside, can be, uh, fish bacilli -like can be seen. Now uh, once that is done, investigation is done, we will start with the treatment. Treatment we give, it is mainly medical treatment and uh, we give a combination of antibiotic for 2 months course and we like to give 2% acriflavin for local application too. Since the general condition of the patient is bad, we have to improve the general condition. We will supplement iron and multivitamin and of course uh, good balanced diet, regular diet is important and lot of fluid intake has to be advised. Now at the same time we like to give intra, uh, we have to give injections inside the nose. And there is a comp particular combination for it, Kailas regime, it is termed as Kailas regime where carbolic acid, glacial acetic acid and glycerin in a particular proportion in, a, in 10 ml distilled water, it will be 1 or 2 cc will be injected in multiple sites in the nose and approximately 10 injections has to be given. This is how we manage medically. Now in case it is advanced, it is still advancing, medical treatment is not of much use and we want to arrest the growth, then we can give low dose of radiotherapy, that is one option. Now after the medical treatment and everything is cured, it means uh, cured in the sense 2 or 3 biopsies has come negative, everything is fine, then we can remove the granulations and nodules everything from the nasal cavity with the help of cautery or laser. And if suppose the nasal deformity is not much and we feel that by a good rhino, by doing a rhinoplasty we can give him a uh, good external uh, good look, then we can opt for rhino, rhinoplasty, rhinoplasty also. So that is how we, uh, we manage rhinoscleroma. Thank you so much.